And Jade, those students are now lining up right behind me to head in for their first day of class in about five months. We have Doug Perry, the spokesperson for the school district, joining us again this morning. There's a couple of questions that we need answered about sure. face masks and face shields. So yes. let's get right to it. There was a little bit of a mix up and some confusion for some parents. What was that and what clarification can you give to them this morning? Yeah, uh, we received some clarification just this last week on the types of face coverings that would be allowed. and. Uh, it really did help clear up some confusion over that, whether or not a face mask was okay versus a face shield. Um, what we're hearing now is that the, the preference and the um, requirement is for an actual face mask mm -hmm. um, and that a face shield can be used in addition to that if they would, if they choose that. Okay, so for those that may have um, lost their mask in the car on their drive over here or in the bus. You guys have some extras, don't you, that you're handing out to students? Exactly. Yeah, we're prepared okay. to give students uh, what they need in terms of PPE in general, but um, face masks for sure and on the bus and in the classroom if, if they're face mask uh, malfunctions or mm -hmm. if they don't come with one that particular day, we, we're prepared to give them one. And about 20% of the student body, I understand, is going to be taking online only That's learning. Correct. So masks really don't necessarily apply to them since they right. won't be in the class. Does that come as a surprise to you or the school district that 20% that of the student body of the 6,300 students heading back are going to actually be taking online? No, I think it's reflective of the surveys that we've been doing and other surveys that we've seen from other districts that we have a, a, a certain percentage of people that just don't feel comfortable with going back to school right now. And, they, and we respect that and we honor that. Um, that's why we offered the online option is to give them that flexibility. And for those that are taking online, you made some major upgrades to your online system, kind of make it a little more comfortable and smooth sailing for the for them. Uh, these technology upgrades, did they cost much? Um, we've been putting together a lot of different things, um, protocols and so forth for our technology. Um, yeah, some of them do cost a fair bit of money, but um, a lot of them we had already been working on. Quite frankly, we were prepared the day that we had to close down to go online fully because we, every student had a Chromebook already in, in their, assigned to them. And so uh, we were ready for it, and I think we're ready for it now. Um, if we need to close down on, on a day's notice, we can do that. All right. Proceeding with caution. Exactly. I like it. Okay, Doug, thank you so much for your time this morning. Those kids are headed back. The We're standing at McMillan Elementary, so the school bell is just about to sound for them. Junior high and high school are actually already in class. They have a half day for the next two weeks just to kind of get them acclimated to this new environment. Ron and Mary, we'll keep you posted as we see things throughout the next couple of weeks here at the school district. Yeah, that's probably a good idea because there's I mean, it's been months so many different things. Yeah, and uh, the, the whole protocol is going to be so much